Hi, for this video, what we're going to have to do um, to solve this one by elimination is we're going to have to multiply both equations. It does not matter which one we decide to um, eliminate. We can eliminate the x's or we can eliminate the y's. Um, for this particular question, um, both the x's and the y's happen to be opposite signs already. Uh, so that's something that I always look for to make it easier so I don't have to multiply by a negative. Um, but since they're both um, going to be the same level of difficulty as far as multiplying goes, I'm going to choose to eliminate the y's. It's perfectly okay to eliminate the x's. Um, with this, what we have to do is get these to be opposites of each other. I cannot multiply by three, 3 times something to get negative 10. If I would have chosen to eliminate the x's, I also cannot multiply 5 by an integer in order to get positive 9. So for either one, x or y, I do have to multiply both equations. So um, for this one, I just chose to multiply my y terms. I would multiply the first one by 3 and the second equation by 10. And the reason that I'm doing that is because this would give me negative 30 and this would give me positive 30, so those would eliminate. I could have also chosen to multiply the top equation by 5 and the bottom equation by 9 in order to get this to be positive 45 and this one to be negative 45. So um, really it's just kind of a personal choice on this one, which one you want to go with. Um, I always look for opposite signs. If they are both the same signs, then it really doesn't matter which one you pick either. So with this, let's go ahead and multiply the entire top equation by 3. Basically, I have to distribute the 3 into everything, so I would have to do 9 times 3 and then write the answer. So I would have 27x. And then I would do negative 10 times 3, which gives me negative 30y. And I would do negative 1 times 3, which gives me negative 3. I'm going to do the same thing with the second one, but this time I'm multiplying by 10. So I would do 10 times 5, which gives me negative 50. 10 times 3, which gives me positive 30. And as you can see now, if I add those two together, they are going to cancel each other out. And 10 times 21 gives me 210. So now we would simply add these two equations together. And when I do that, 50 minus 27, um, sorry, 50 minus 27 gives me 23. And because the 50 is bigger, I do have to keep the sign of that, so I end up with a negative 23x. 210 minus 3 gives me positive 207. And then we would simply just divide both sides by negative 23. So when I divide 207 by negative 23, I end up with negative 9. And a lot of students, they get to this point, they're like, oh, I've got an answer, I must be done. Remember, we do have to plug it back into one of the original equations. Um, it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. I'm going to plug it into the second one, only because of the fact that this one has a positive 3y, which is smaller than a negative 10, and it's positive. It really doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer either way. So now we would just simplify or simply um, solve this equation. Negative 5 times negative 9 would give me positive 45. I would subtract the 45 from both sides. So I end up with 3y equals 45 minus 21, which is really 24, and then keep the sign of the 45. And then we would divide both sides by 3. So we end up with y equals negative 8. So if we were to write this as an ordered pair, we would have negative 9 comma negative 8. And as always, I always check this to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. So if we check this, basically what we're going to do is replace our x with negative 9. So I would have 9 times negative 9 minus 10y equals, and I forgot to replace the 1. 10 times negative 8 equals negative 1. And so we would simplify this. This gives me negative 81 plus 80, which is indeed negative 1. So we can see that it works in the first equation. If we check this second equation, I would take negative 5 times negative 9 plus 3 times negative 8. And we want to see, does this equal 21? 
Um, so we would end up with 45 minus 24, which, yes, it does equal 21. So we can see that it works in both of the equations. So negative 9, negative 8 is a verified solution. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.